Right, welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of that Football Manager Career Save Mode with Reddin FC and today we're carrying on the save, we've got a new lighting, new video, new type of things, all looking good, I might have recorded this already and realised my audio was broken so I've had to redo it, but bear it in mind, this is new stuff, we're all learning, This in the next few weeks this will be completely different going forward, we're going into a new room and setting on all things will be different set up moving or moving forward from there but we are here we're going to get going um yeah we've had a few games since then we're going to be playing Huddersfield and Ipswich today um who is the manager of Huddersfield right now uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is the manager of Huddersfield and a manager of the situation Kieran McKenna anyway so we're going to get into them games we're going to see how we're doing I'm going to go through the fixtures we've done before since I've seen you guys we're then going to play the games and we're going to see what happens moving forward there's nothing of news apart from Rafa Benitez is the Leeds manager which I've just realized when I was looking at it earlier and then we're then going to skip ahead and then see who we'll be playing next time but we've got a big game coming up so let's get into to show it showing you what we've been up to so, as you can see here, since the last time we played when we got 3-0 against Burnley, we played Bristol City and beat them 1-0. We then played against Stoke and beat them 2-1. Andy Carroll getting another goal. And then Andy Carroll getting a hat-trick against Birmingham. Um, at this precise moment, there's not stopping. There's no one stopping Andy Carroll at the moment. Let's just be honest. Top goal scorer in the league with 17 goals. Um... Average rating, second in that. Charlie Savage has got the most, m second most player of the matches as well. Um, Tom McIntyre picking up the most. We've got the highest goal difference in the league. The best goal difference in the league with 20. Um, we've lost two, drawn two and won 12. Um, but we're going well. We're doing really, really well. This team has felt nice. To play with this has felt really comfortable in what we're doing um, and, and how we're going um, Thomas Callas is not happy because he wants to play more but I'm not playing him anymore um, but yeah we're gonna get into the Huddersfield game see how we do we're then gonna go into the Ipswich game or do we do a triple header we'll see how the first two games go if the first two games go well I'm not selling you for peanuts no. Could we go unsettled? All right, so here we go. First things here. They're offering more money. We will be able to get that back if we do it. My son's doing something wrong, but it's all good. But let's carry on. Bristol City have got a new manager, which is absolutely fine. Right, let's get into this game. Gets Huddersfield. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's team are fifth in the league, but we've got fucking Andy Carroll, so I do not care. Just checking to see if everything's been recorded. Everything seems fine. Just I had a nightmare. Right, go to match. I thought I pressed record. I actually did record it. I'm not gonna lie, and the audio just was not working. I had to restart my whole computer. To make sure what was going on. Um, I want you to pick off what you did last time. Now. Right, here we go. Let's see what their formation. They're playing a 4 2 3 1. Anyone we know in their team? No. They used to play for us? No. Right, here we are, the 4 3 3. This just feels right. We're playing so well this season as well. And watch me say that and get absolutely dicked on in this game. For some reason it does this all the time. I just, I don't, I don't want to see this. No, that's fine, I'll just do that. Right, here we go. First highlight of the game comes from us playing out from the back. Nicely done there. Oh, lovely play. Tries to go down the line. Is Stevens tries to pass it back to Femi Aziz. Is in, shoots in the bottom left-hand corner, and it is a goal. One nil. Femi Aziz cutting in from the right-hand side. Bottom corner goal. Poor pass from them, passing it back um, to their defender. Stevens just trying to roll it back, but was not not enough power on it. Aziz takes over. Keeper should have done better by the looks of that, but. It does not matter. We are 1 0. It doesn't matter how we win, if we win. So, quite happy with this centre back pairing as well. 
both cost money we needed to redo the center back positions and we're doing that right now right Guinness Walker McIntyre he's a savage yeah Enzo Amore Kelvin Abafua P Pinto's in should have done much better than that he's very good at doing those starting runs the one thing I would say is we're missing Cascade from last season if because Charlie Pinto does make really good late runs but his finishing at the end of that is something that needs to be taught and I'm teaching him it to do his finishing and the, the runs and all that but just needs to get better at it and quicker because he could be an absolute star but it's just he's just not helping himself we've got the majority of possession um, not a lot of shots they're slowly making their way into the game using the corners and free kicks to try and really put pressure on us they've won both of their headers when they've gone to the highlights to show us that they're in charge so a bit annoying there happy with your performance let's keep it going we don't need to do much more than that we're winning we're doing well let's keep it going I think that was a save. That was. Connor Boyce Clark was able to tip his fingers to that. Huddersfield has started to take over this game. Carroll heads it out to Hamilton. Not the legend Formula One. Backed again. Connor, let's fucking clear it. And there we go. We need we need to get another goal now because Huddersfield has started to take over this game, and I'm getting a little bit worried. What could happen? McIntyre, Panto. Tries to go for it, doesn't. Keeps the pressure on, keep the pressure on. He's going to go out wide. We need to keep the pressure on them. And we're not. We're part letting them pass it through. Enzo tries it. He's completely out of position now. This is where McIntyre needs to fold back in. He doesn't. They tried to go for the tackle. Great goalkeeping there. Great recovery. But we're going to have to make some changes because we cannot keep up with what we're doing right now. Um... And I don't know what to do. Do we go a 4 2 3 1 as well? No. Let's keep it with what we're doing. I'm going to take Rogers off for Fozu. I'm going to take Carroll off for Ricky Jada Jones. Um, take him off as well. McIntyre with his normal yellow card. We'll bring him off. Make four subs. I'm not going to change too much because I just think we just need a change of personnel right now, which could help us moving forward. But. Who knows? Who the f oh, I haven't pressed play. There we go. That might be helpful. Right. Uh, I'm in the mood. Twenty minutes left, and we're still only one nil. They've had more shots. We've had one on target, and the one on target was the goal. We're not really creating that 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 goal scoring opportunities that we need to do now. We're doing nice little passing here, but we're not going forward with it, and it's a bit of a worry. Savage to Aziz down the line. Ricky Jada Jones has got the pace. Can he finish? He does. And that's his third goal for the club this season. A nice finish in the back, round the back, in the back, if you like it. But passed it out wide. Femi Aziz with the lovely through ball there. With the uses his pace to get in behind. And lovely little finish to go across the keeper to make it 2-0. That is what we've been looking for. And that is what we've needed. Thomas down the line. What's he going to do? It crosses it into Simpson. Oh. Jesus Christ. Really testing our patience here, aren't we? That's lovely done out the back. If we can, if we can really capitalise on this part, and we have Femi Aziz is in. He's been left over, but what a tackle there! Really good tackle. I think I tried to buy him in the summer. Their right back. If I'm right, is this the right back I tried to buy from Blackburn? I tried to buy him, um, or was he a free agent? I can't really remember. After we saw Ricky Jada Jones off the post. That was lucky. I can't remember. He's the left back. I don't think he was then. No, he's definitely not the one. Okay, there was a player that looked, that was the same sort of name that I tried to buy. Fozu's been injured, trying to recover like Wolverine. 
bring on more players. Don't I don't like to bring on Matiowski if I don't have to. We're two 0 up. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to do anything. We've done well in this game. We've got a minute left of it. Let's try and see it out. Savage. Pianto, Ricky Jada Jones to Fozu. Fozu, can he go back in the middle? Does Ricky Jada Jones should have scored that? Good chances. Since we've made those substitutes, we have really taken over this game. Ofina, I think that's how you say his name. I'm not 100% sure. Pianto, Savage. Holmes, what's he going to do with it? Goes back inside to Savage. Goes back out wide to the right back. Darts in, crosses it. Was able to block it. Gets it back again. But no. Apparently, we pushed the player over. Let's see. So we're nearly here, nearly at the end of this game. Nearly finishing the story here. Right, that is a great win. Right, we're going to look into the next match we are playing is... I want to say Ipswich. Uh, recently promoted Ipswich, who are currently ninth in the league. And then we've got Rotherham after. Do we do a triple header? We'll see how it goes after the um, Ipswich game, whether I want to do a triple header or not. But we will get into that. Uh, Fozzy is out for six to nine days. Of course he is. He is always injured. It's becoming a bit of a worry now. He's on a quite a lot of money on a little bit on a on a long deal as well. I think how long have I got him for? I oh, need two years. That's fine. He's twenty-eight. Matiowski's forty-one. <laughs> it does make me laugh. The leading goal scorer in the league is a thirty-four-year-old Andy Carroll. He's got six, he's got seventeen goals and sixteen appearances. It's just madness. Right. I'll see you guys for the next game. Right, we are back. We are here. We're going into the next game against Ipswich. They've come in off for some good results here at Ipswich, being recently promoted um, into the division. And we sort of got to try and make sure that these are the teams we have to beat. We cannot be going into this into this game thinking, eh, we, we, might, we might win this, we might not. No. We lost the previous fixture. I think this was in the cup game where I rested everybody. Um, against them and I just did not want to play a full strength team especially in the cup with the amount of league games we're going to be playing this season a lot of players are starting to feel it with the amount of games we play so we might do a little bit of rotational here going into this just want to make sure that you're not happy but I'm going to play you in this game um, Pinto I'm going to bring you off Aziz is still not fully fit that's fine I'm going to bring you on as well. Femi is not doing good, but Kamara is ready to go. I like Kamara. Um, and Andy Carroll is going to come out for him. Femi is going to go on the bench. I'm going to bring on Matiowski as well. I feel like that's a better pairing we could have on their ben out there as well. Um, Spray can come on as well. He could play centre-back. He could play left wing as well, so... That's fine, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a few changes. I don't want. I want to play some of the players that haven't played yet. Um, Phil Tom Holmes should have been picked. Unfortunately, my man, he's not very fit to play this game, so he's not playing. So we're playing this game. Andre Ayew is up top for all of them. Big name, big get. We're playing our normal four-three-three at home today. And they're playing a 5-2-2-1. If you want to call that a 5-2-3. They're ninth in the league. They've done really well. Looks like they're going to be secure. Swansea, Millwall and Preston are down the bottom with Charlton. That is madness. Those three are down the bottom. And all the recently promoted teams. Derby up to 14th. They're up to 9th. Who's, who's the other promoted team I'm trying to work out? Am I being stupid? Charlton promoted, yeah. Okay, I've been. I, I, you, you guys probably screaming at me in the comment, and I think we've just given away a penalty. We have. Normally, we get the penalties. We don't give them away. Um, I'm not happy with that. Andre Ayew steps up. Goal. If I remember correctly, in real life, Andre Ayew was close to signing for Reading when we were in the Premier League. It was all over, but he failed a medical and we refused to sign him in the end when he was big at the World Cup, if I remember correctly. Um, but we cannot be playing like that, especially here, and we're just being dominated now by Ipswich. This is a game we have to be winning, and we're not doing that very well. 
<sighs> just, we're not putting a foot on them at all. And it is becoming a bit worrying now because here we go. Matioski with a free kick always does well. Back post, headers it, keeper saves it. Back out, Kelvin. Nope. Come on, encourage them to get their asses moving and get them going. Ah, dear, 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 dear. This is not good. Oh, nearly got it then. Chaplin's looking for the ball forward. Callas stops it, but he just gives it to Andre Ayew. Fucking terrible defending, and he just gives it away to Andre Ayew, who slots it home to make it 2 0. These changes that I decided to make was a very poor idea. That was fucking terrible, and time to redeem myself. Uh, very frustrated. He's coming off. Um, Ricky Jader Jones is not doing anything, so we're going to bring on the big sexy Carol. Well, players are not playing well as well. Callas is coming off as well. We're going to bring the youngster on. I'm not having that type of performance in the team. If he wants to leave now, he can. I don't. I don't. I put him onto a contract that says that he's going to be rotational. He's not going to be a first team player, and he's coming in and he's just not doing what he's meant to be doing. And it is not good. Come on. Still not making any difference at all. So all the players I took off and wanted to rest, I've had to bring them on now because they're just not doing their jobs at all. Ah. Right, Pianto goes for the, hits the crossbar, heads it out. Carroll's there, keeps it alive. Kelvin goes down the line, crosses it back in. Not there, Andre Ayew's now got the ball. Can they hit on the counter-attack Ipswich to make it 3-0? Or can we stop this and we don't see what goes on? Okay, fucking demand more. Fuck are you lot doing? Losing more ground to Leeds. Leeds are losing though, so it's fine, which will only mean we are one point behind them. But if we won this, we would be top of the league, which makes me angry even fucking more. So which will mean we will be playing the next game because I have to redeem myself after this absolute shit show. Not happy. That was fucking terrible. Um, terrible performance. Could have won that to be top of the league and sort of put more pressure on Leeds, but we've let Leeds off. We've let ourselves off. We haven't let ourselves off. We put ourselves more into danger. And with that, we do not deserve to be where we are now. And I am very, very angry. So, we're going to skip now. And I will see you at the next game against Rotherham. Right, we are back now. And we are playing against Rotherham. I think he is the Rotherham manager, if I'm right. Matt Taylor. He is the one in charge of this team moving forward. They are ninth. We are second we need to win this and bounce back after that horrific performance that we did against Ipswich. Um, Cardiff won Femi Aziz. If you want Femi... Have I put a release clause in his contract? No, he expires in three years. That is not going to be enough. If you give me 15 million, it's well over, and I have a spare set of sell-on, fuck off, I don't need that. So, Connor Boyce-Clark is now a proper championship goalkeeper, which we are training to be a Premier League goalkeeper. And then hopefully when we get in there, we'll be able to sell quite a few of these players to make more money for this club moving forward. But we had to, we had to lose money this season because the amount of players we had to bring in, we brought in a lot of players. We've sold a lot of players, but we had to bring in quite a few players as well because we were in danger of losing out massively and what we've done is and we are not changing this team we're playing with a normal team against um who are we who we're we playing where are we where'd you come from cut no joe um rotherham it's just gone i need to see a much better performance yeah Right, here we go. Normal 4-3-3 play for us. What are Rotherham playing at these days? Are you playing at 5 at the back like they normally do? Or they changed it up? They are playing a 4-3-3 the same as us. Okay. Sean Morrison, as in the one that used to play for Redden. Well, I'm going to go on a dive now to see if it is. We're about to find out.
because that's going to annoy me. Is that the one that used to... Yeah, it is. How old is he now? 32. Oh, yeah. There is a player I am looking at for the summer transfer for the midfield position. Um, I'm not going to say who it is. He's very cheap at the moment. It looks like a good championship material player um, with potential to being a really great Premier League player, but I'm fully scouting him right now. We've had our first shot after 20 minutes. We've got Possession King is here. Possession King is here and we're here to stay. Right, 33, 30, 30. We've had no highlights in this game in this first half. And we've had three shots, none on target. They've had one shot, one on target. We are not doing anything. This is becoming a bit worrying now. As soon as I hit that record button, not doing what I want it to do. So we're going to go a bit positive. We're going to up up the little bit of the passing a little bit. We're not going to play for set pieces. If we get them, we get them. If we don't, we don't. I'm not going to pass it out. I'm going to do short kicks. You could kick it wherever you want. Mid block. Let's push that forward a little bit. Um, let's try that. Let's go in the dressing room. Well done for controlling the possession. They absolutely love that. Right, let's go. We've we've changed it up a little bit. See how that goes. Go a little bit more positive now. I think that's what we need. Gets the Guinness Walker to Tom McIntyre. Lovely ball down the line to Charlie Pinto. The goalkeeper's come out and missed it. He's still not back in goal and we're still trying to get it. Andy Carroll's there, heads it in. And within 30 seconds of the restart and our changes, we have gone 1-0 up. I am a tactical genius. But we are now fully on it. Savage heads over off the crossbar there. Should have made that 2-0. Could have made it 2 within a minute of each other. Fully taken over now. Carroll's there. Hits the post. Clears it away. We are. We need to finish more of these chances now. We're fully on top of this game. And we need to make sure we take the chances we've got. And really put this team to bed. Because we cannot let these guys even get a sniff of coming back. Because if we do, they're going to take it. They're not ninth for no reason. Nice. To get it. See, as I was saying, nice block there by Connor Boyce Clark. Really becoming on his own. I had a word with him a few episodes ago as I, he was kept letting in goals. And we are letting in goals at the moment, but I had a word with him and he's, he's improved since then. So maybe bollocking him. Oh, fuck. Well done, McIntyre had to win that. And Pianto had to win that as well. Time to make some changes because Nessa Guinness Walker is dead. I'm going to bring on Matyowski, but I'm going to put him in as a central defensive midfielder role. Maybe that will help him a bit more. Put Guinness or him on. There's four changes. Make four changes. We've only had one shot on target, which is a bit of the worry. We've only had that out of all of this. But maybe we can now end it now with Carroll, and he does. Another goal, 19th goal this season. Our Lord and Saviour Jesus is here. Andy Carroll. He is the baby Jesus. He is God. But as we are playing now, the third game this episode, two wins out of three is okay. We're now top of the league. Leeds are playing, but they are drawing against Rotherham, which could mean at the end of this episode, we will finish being top of the league, which... Fuck me. I would never have expected us to be top of the league at any stage during this season um, with the amount of changes we had to bring in. But that is it. That is excellent news there. We finished this episode with the same amount of games as Leeds United, but we are now top. Yeah, they finished drawing 0-0 with Fulham. Top of the league against Fulham. Uh, against Leeds. Wow. So... We're going to skip on ahead here now. The next time you come back to me, we're not going to play Fulham because they're not any good. And we're playing against Tommy. So what we'll do, we're going to come back for the... We're not going to play Charlton, not playing Dog. We'll come back for the Watford-Blackburn game. That's when we will come back next episode. So make sure you stick around and make sure you see that. But with that, with that being said, we're going to praise the big sexy Geordie bastard. With that being said, 
my name's been Mark. You guys have been absolutely amazing and with all the love and support. And I'll see you guys for the next episode. With love, with care. I'll see you guys soon. Um, peace.